Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's trading video. We're going to be a bit different than normal. I'm going to be going through my disastrous morning of trading. We've been throwing away a few thousand dollars here uh, on what can only be described as a very painful morning of trading. I have not enjoyed it. Uh, broke a lot of my own rules. And I thought, you know what, let's make a video about this. <laughs> let's do a video about how I have traded so bad. Uh, and hopefully by me sharing the pain that I've went through this morning, you can understand and not repeat the same mistakes I have because, it, yeah, it's been a very bad day of morning. Well, well, well we are. We're at one, one o'clock now. Even a bad morning of trading for myself, which started off very well. And then it just went from good to bad very quickly. Uh, let me explain how this happens. So uh, enjoy my pain. Hope it helps. Let's get into the video. So started off really nice. Saying good morning to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I was feeling really good. I done my, uh, this is the daily update that I do every day for the contenders and champions. Got that done. Uh, moved on to take my first trade, which was a short going for a CCV setup. This is our bearish setup. Uh, and I had a really nice entry. I was, I was looking for prices around... You can see where I have the alert looking for the B wave here around 17,900, 17,950. This is the box I was looking for for this uh, retracement for the B wave. And I had a bearish CCV setup and I was also gifted a really nice short entry, which was off of this swing failure pattern. So we had this really nice swing failure pattern in the morning. And uh, for me, it gifted like a really nice short position. I was like, you know what? got a really great short here almost the top of the move and i'm looking to take this down um you know to around 17,900 region um and then it so it started off well you know it started off well got about one uh, about one and a half percent in profit that short was and then uh then th this is where things turned very bad very quickly so i was feeling comfortable in the short and price come down to these lows and uh, for me, it's a take profit. And you can see why. Really simply, we took the lows here. What did we do down here? We also then took the low down here. So I've got a really big itch. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just because I've been like hugging my dog and she, I don't have, now have dog hair all over me. Um, itchy. Anyway, where was I going with this? Uh, yeah, so we come down and we took those lows and I wanted to take profits. Um, and what I accidentally done... Uh, I said I've done a Yunez here. This is an inside joke. Yunez done the exact same <laughs> mistake as me yesterday. Um, but basically what I done was after getting filled on the short position uh, up higher, I then accidentally filled, um, well, I accidentally closed my position fully where I meant to um, cancel a limit order that I placed. So I placed a limit order to take profits and then I wanted to cancel my limit order. And instead of cancelling the limit order, somehow I just accidentally pressed X on the open order that I had. So that closed my position at market, uh, which was a mistake. I did not want to close my position. I wanted to take profits. Um, so then I accidentally took profits. Well, I accidentally closed the whole short at lows, which really wasn't, I suppose, the end of the world. But it, it was just very annoying for myself. As I, Hopefully you can understand what I'm saying here. It's like, oh, damn, that was, that was a bit annoying. I really didn't want to do that. Um, and then it kind of went from you know, bad to making it 10 times worse. So it was still profitable at the end of the day. Um, myself, I'm doing a, I'm doing myself like a, a challenge. I'll show you what I'm on at the moment. Um, so we currently sit on this account, um, $482,000. And my challenge to myself is, is I want to get this to $500,000, you know, half a million before the end of the month. And it was progressing really, really well. I'm, I'm, uh, I started, just a few months ago, $100,000. It now sits at four hundred and eighty. dollars I've been like challenging myself. I really wanted to get this done before the Christmas break of reaching half a million. Um, and I was there. I, I was about $2,000 off. And then this morning, I've just like gone, just, uh, just really, really dumb trades. And I threw away all my morning profit and turned to big losses. So how did this happen? Well, the revenge trading is what I like to call it. Um, after closing my short way too early, uh, we then had this, uh, it needs to go down on a lower term time frame. This is really choppy, by the way. It's been a very choppy morning. It really hasn't been so great. Like what you do not want to do, what you do not want to do when it's really choppy at the lows is over trade. And because I made the mistake of accidentally closing, I, I rushed into my next trade. I went straight into another short position. You know, it was really dumb. Uh, I went into a short position and then we got this move here. It was, duh, 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 I think it was this move here. We got the move up and then I closed my short and went into a long. Like this is just really, 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 really bad trading. Like in the moment I was like, okay, we're going to go back into a long. 
and then actually i held it during this drawdown here which was fine because we hadn't actually taken the overall low at this point and we got on then a move this move back up to uh 18,250 and then this is where i went into a leveraged into a pretty high leveraged long position because i was like okay brilliant we've got a lot of traders we, you know volume was really high at these lows we had a move to the upside and i kept adding as it was retracing here um and it obviously didn't go well because we come all the way back down to the low and then <laughs> really done i ended up closing my long at the low because i thought it was going to get follow through to the downside which didn't happen and we got this next move to the upside um and it was uh i think it was on this section here i entered into a long as it got the retrace and i was like okay we're going to go for the higher low and move up and in the end uh, I ended up closing the long too early again for another small loss. Uh, but the biggest loss was taken on this this section here. It was just a ultra dumb trade. And then we obviously come up here to take the highs once more. The daily point of control was 19, 18, 250. I can show you that really quickly. The daily point of control, uh, 18,250. So we come back up into the resistance. And at this point, I was thinking we're going to drop down again. Um, but yeah, it just was a, a few really, really bad trades. And I was like this, you know, think for me why this was so painful uh was because i had a really good short position this morning you know i had the setup i had everything going really well and then i accidentally closed the position and then i just take three really dumb trades in a row because i was annoyed um you know really simply as i've said i'm not going to trade again until we actually get something that i want um thank god i'm human too but i mean yeah uh, my, my so my pain so you understand how you can learn from this is firstly it's having a really good trade um you know let, let's not forget that the, the initial short position this morning and if i had not over managed this would have been really good but then the mistake of accidentally closing it well just made me think but i just went i lost my mind really i, I kind of just lost my mind you know you know i like to hold myself to high standards and totally like this was a trade that i wasn't really shouldn't have been involved in switching back into a long position uh getting the move back up adding into it as we're coming back down switching into short switching back into long it's just like going oh it's just like ultra 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 bad trading it really 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 is um and what, what should have i done really what i should have done is when i made the mistake of accidentally closing the short really i should have walked away you know i should have walked away we're, we're at support i really shouldn't be over trading well while it was really really choppy okay you were seeing absorption on both sides there's conflicting signs there's bullish signs there's bearish signs like, you know it's a bit of it's just like really choppy and overall really what i should have done is stuck to my plan of of you know i'm expecting these lower prices still and maybe we get it uh we probably do but it's just like a case of um stick to you know when you have that plan which i do feel was a great one i really should have stuck to it not 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 going in and out of positions and the thing is i really wouldn't have done that if i didn't accidentally close the short and instead of getting into the mindset of okay okay dan you've accidentally closed it's so now let's kind of go into it's like this almost like revenge trading because of how you know i was annoyed at myself for closing it and then instead of just staying patient and calm i just went straight into a long position you know <clears throat> just just crazy um and then when it got a bit of a move up you know i'm adding back into it. i'm adding in i'm adding in i'm adding in you know i wouldn't be doing this i just don't really don't know why i done it well i do know why i didn't i suppose it was like an emotional trade it was really revenge trading poor poor plan you know i was trading in the moment with no plan that's the biggest takeaway i suppose i was wasn't prepared to be longing down here and then because of a mistake i just went into an emotional kind of mindset i suppose into a really poor trade decision didn't stick to my plan which was expecting lower and um you know ended up taking a big hit on my account um so yeah that, that, that's what i wanted to talk you through this morning um how a good morning a really good trade can turn into a big loss because of not sticking to the plan and then trading in the moment under you know an emotional sort of mindset i suppose and uh yeah throwing away a few thousand dollars which was originally you know plus a few thousand dollars in profit to ending the day with negative pnl just really bad day of trading um but yeah we, we, I'm, I'm still gonna go in this challenge give give me till i reckon give give me 10 more days maybe 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 give me one more week and i'm I'm expecting this to be at half a million uh, um yeah today set me back and i got set back from not sticking to the plan so i hope that you can i don't know maybe it's helped you hopefully it has 
uh the takeaway of this video really was do not do what i've done this morning okay uh do not trade without a plan do not get stuck in the moment if you make a mistake you know that's what really grinded me that was that it was from a mistake uh of accidentally closing the position and really what i should have done is walked away walked away and made a new plan is what i should have done but instead I went straight into a long position which was just crazy i don't even know why and then i started adding to it as we were pulling pulling back after rejecting off the resistance you know when i think of it now sensibly you know i've had an hour to reflect on it and i'm thinking to myself wow that was really 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 dumb but, you know that's emotions i suppose at the end of the day you, you're never going to get fully over it but there's steps obviously you can take to, to conquer it uh, i like to hold myself to think i won't be doing that again <laughs> but there you go hopefully it was helpful uh have a brilliant day cheers thank you and goodbye